we've had several questions about why we're considering moving over to Slack. We've talked about it a lot for over the years, and uh, Slack is a very powerful platform. But one of the things we want to do before we make the jump to Slack and force everybody to move over there is document why we even have an instant messaging client. So we will be documenting Google Hangouts and explaining why we have that, how we use it, and what it's been used for in the past. We do want to make the move to Slack for several reasons. Slack is a, uh, it's just a nice hub, portal, communications interface for, for uh, any kind of communications that we need to do, transferring files, sharing links, uh, talking to groups, talking to individuals, direct messages, private channels, public channels. All of these things can be done inside of Slack and they can't be done inside of Hangouts. Another thing is we can have multiple companies inside of uh, Slack. The Slack app here is very easy to use to set up uh, different companies to talk to different groups of individuals. Uh, we can do that. Um, we might have stores eventually or just uh, other companies that we're dealing with and we can create a whole new team just for that. The channels are very nice. As you can see, some of them are private, some of them are public. They have the hashtag in front of them, they're public. The linking is very nice. The integration of other tools, like we have the stand-up bot that comes in and does stand-up meetings automatically for us. We also have the Trello bot. Uh, we can add in other bots. I'm going to add in the uh, free conference call bot so that you can just type slash free conference call, hit enter, and everybody can do an impromptu conference call. Um, the stand-up bot prompts you periodically to say, hey, what did you do yesterday? What are you doing tomorrow? And what stands in your way? Really good for teams to stay on the same page. The Trello bot makes it very easy for us to create a Trello card and update com comments and uh, add information, change labels, add uh, people to the card, all from within Slack. So you never have to leave this interface to get a lot of work done. Also, unlike um, um, hangouts, you can have information over here to the side. So you can pin items, like if you want to keep this item available, you can click pin to general. And this will always stay there so that when we're, you know, someone else is looking for this, they can find this encrypted data information about Windows 7 and uh, encrypted hard drives. You can also edit your messages. So you can go back here and create, uh, just click edit and edit the message and change anything where you may have fat-fingered something. Down here you can create a file, a little snippet of a piece of code that you want somebody to paste in and it'll actually put it in as code. Or you could uh, put in just a note that's uh, plain text and will be stuck out there as a plain text box. But look at all of these things that you can do so that you could actually type a little bit of uh, code and it'll keep the formatting for you and know what you're talking about. So that's very useful. Uh, if you want to create a post, you can create a post here. I know that we use Google Drive and Google Docs for doing a lot of collaborative editing, but this could be an easy way to keep a one or two files in front of us all the time. So they would show up over here as uh, either pinned items or they would show up here in shared files. So there could be files here that are attached. Uh, as you can see, we've got photos we've been uploading and sharing. Uh, we also have some the presentation that Tommy put up, different things that are here. Uh, we need uh, under shared files and pinned items, maybe under pinned items. We can put things where we all need to reference them whenever we're in Slack and be able to find them quickly. It's just a very powerful communications tool, uh, much more so than Google Hangouts and uh, it's really what we'll be moving to, but we don't want to make the jump without really being clear in our um, Trello, our, our Neighborhood Nerds shop manual of understanding why we have a communications tool in the first place and what we're supposed to be doing with it. So anyway, just uh, this is a reason we're doing this and just wanted to let you guys know. Uh, please let us know if you have any questions or concerns about it. Also, it has very powerful searching functions, so it's very, very easy to find what you're looking for across all of your uh, Slack.